Good morning, so it is uh, Wednesday 23rd of September. <laughs> um, today I'm going to look into doing the wiring. Um, I just want to kind of like drill holes through the van and start thinking about getting like conduit through the whole side of the van as well. Less talking, more working. The main thing I wanted to do here was just drill through the panels so that would allow me to route the wires through without it being like protruding from the vapour barrier. Mm -hmm. Drill started to like catch on fire. I just finished with some red oxide to protect any rust from coming through. Just here, I'm quickly routing the wires for the main spotlights. <coughs> so it's Friday, it's the end of the week of like kind of on and off wiring mornings and lunch times, maybe a little bit in the evenings as well. Um, haven't really done much. It, I'm more sort of like itching my brain, thinking like, oh, wh where does this need to go? And you know, how do I route this? And conduit piping and all this sort of shit. So you can see there's a long piece of conduit going down through the bottom there. There's two pieces of conduit coming out through, which have gone through there. I've just drilled these little holes and then touched them up with um, red oxide. So I basically just spent evenings and mornings just routing cable through conduit. Um, it took a long, long time and it's a tedious task. Um, a lot harder by yourself, so if you can, try and get someone to give you a hand. LED spotlights are now done. They're all here, they're all linked up. Um, just need to tidy up with some of the like loom tape and stuff. Anyway, more time lapsing, I think. Oh, if we can move the camera, Jesus! Come on. Yeah. Early Tuesday morning. I want to today reroute these wires so they go through these ribs or these like structural parts of the van because it just means they're out of the way um, once we vapor barrier over and they can be tucked up. So I'm going to drill through these five along here, put either trunking or a grommet through it. That's going to involve a load of hard drilling and I don't know how this one's gonna fare, but let me find out. done two holes, drilled the remainder all pilot holes, and I feel like I've been drilling forever already. It's just really hard work on the drill, the drill bit, and me. Because it's just always catching because it's just such a massive drill bit. After drilling all the holes, I chopped the main wiring loom and then rerouted it all through the conduit bits that I put in. 
and there was loads of wires and unfortunately I'm colorblind so um, like trying to get those wires like all paired back up again was a bit of a nightmare uh, luckily the apprentice in work like decided to give me a hand thank you Mr Bates The, um, I've rerouted the original heart. Ah, you f <laughs> Oh! That's her. Oh, that's a camera, you can't say that. No, because no, no. <laughs> You need to edit. Oh. You need to edit. It's happening. So the lit singe. Singe. So, Dandy to the rescue. Dandy to the rescue. So we have literally just finished. Oh Christ, that's bright. Um, Rewiring or cutting and soldering, and then putting heat shrink over all of it. And now all goes through these parts in the van, keeping the wiring loom out of the way. So finally, here I'm just loom taping all the wires together to keep it all neat and tidy. This is the first proper hole I've cut in the side of the van. I didn't do the windows, so this is going to be fun. Wish me luck. So first I started using the multi-tool to cut the hole for the AC hookup, uh, but it was just not quite like clean enough and accurate, so I decided to drill it in th four places and then use the jigsaw. I was really surprised how the jigsaw just went through the metal like so easily. Finally I just filed it down and then just put some white hammer right in to like protect the metal. So here I'm just wiring up the plug. I originally um, didn't sleeve the earth but then I was told by one of my electrician friends that I needed to sleeve it so I then done that at a later date. We drilled the holes and I'm using these stainless steel screws so they don't go all rusty. So sorry that video wasn't the most interesting, uh, but it was something that took quite a long time and I decided to just chuck a quick video together anyway, just to document actually how long it took. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and join us in the next one.